Tesla's new GigaPress just dropped. And the 30% cost reduction everyone expected isn't the shocking part. What's truly insane is the speed. Five complete vehicles every seven seconds, while traditional factories still need 60 seconds per car. Ford and GM burn billions on assembly lines that Tesla just made obsolete in a single press cycle. The machine casts entire chassis sections in one shot. No welding, no 70 separate parts, no human error compounding across hundreds of touch points. But here's the real question. If Tesla can slash costs this drastically while producing faster than legacy automakers' entire plants, what happens to the competition? And what does this mean for the Model 2 price tag American families are waiting for? Let's dive right in. Let's start with the number that's rewriting automotive economics. Five complete vehicles rolling off the line every seven seconds. Not 60 seconds like Ford's most advanced assembly line. Not 40 seconds like GM's billion-dollar facilities. Seven seconds. Traditional automakers have spent over a century perfecting assembly lines that operate at 40 to 60 seconds per vehicle, investing billions in automation and hiring armies of engineers. Then Tesla walks in with a machine that operates 8 to 10 times faster. The math here isn't just impressive, it's devastating. A single gigapress running at this speed can theoretically scale toward 2.5 million vehicles annually. Ford and GM push roughly 1,000 vehicles daily from entire manufacturing plants. Tesla's press matches that figure before lunch break. But here's what makes this truly dangerous. This isn't theoretical anymore. The machine is running right now in Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai. So the question becomes, how long can traditional manufacturers survive when their entire production system is now obsolete? High-pressure die casting isn't new technology. What's new is how Tesla weaponized it. The Giga Press transforms molten aluminum into complete chassis sections in one violent, precise shot. No welding stations, no structural reinforcement phases, no quality control bottlenecks where human error compounds. What used to be 70 separate components, rear underbody sections, side rails, front frame structures, now pours out as one unified aluminum piece. Think about what disappears. No welding jigs to maintain, no fastener inventory to manage, no alignment tolerances compounding across dozens of connection points. Material costs drop 25% because you're not buying, transporting, and storing 70 different parts. Labor costs crater 30% because there's nothing to assemble. Every joint that once created failure points is gone. Every weld that introduced variance is eliminated. Every bolt that demanded inspection vanishes. Here's the part that should terrify Ford and GM. They can't copy this without destroying their existing infrastructure. Their factories were designed for the old process. Their supply chains feed the old process. Their workforce is trained for the old process. Switching to Tesla's method means writing off billions in existing assets and starting from zero. How many shareholders will approve that financial suicide when quarterly earnings are already under pressure? The GigaPress isn't just a bigger machine, it's a smart machine. Advanced AI-driven systems make micro-adjustments in real-time based on sensor feedback during every press cycle. Pressure distribution across the die metal temperature variance, cooling rates, all dynamically optimized thousands of times per cycle. Traditional presses run blind, following pre-programmed sequences and hoping the variables stay in range. When something drifts, you don't know until the part fails inspection hours later. By then, you've produced hundreds of defective units. Tesla's system catches problems in milliseconds, 
The robots see, calculate, and adapt before the aluminum even solidifies. Defect rates plummet because the process doesn't drift. This is where manufacturing becomes genuinely frightening for competitors. Automation here isn't just about speed. It's about eliminating the variance that human fatigue and error introduce into every single unit. Consistency becomes mathematical rather than aspirational. Energy consumption drops because nothing is wasted on correcting mistakes. But let's be honest about what this really means. Tesla is building a manufacturing system that gets better every single day, while competitors are stuck with factories that can only degrade over time. Material efficiency isn't about saving the planet. It's about saving money. The Giga Press uses aluminum alloys with almost no unnecessary material loss. Up to 90% of excess material is immediately recycled and reused inside the same facility. Nothing leaves the loop. Every pound of aluminum that doesn't go to waste is money that doesn't leave Tesla's bank account. Energy efficiency follows the same logic. The Giga Press runs on high-voltage electricity sourced primarily from renewable energy. Traditional manufacturers still rely heavily on fossil fuel power, burning energy at a much higher cost per vehicle. Tesla's process gets faster, cleaner, and cheaper simultaneously, something the old manufacturing model was never designed to achieve. Here's where this gets interesting for everyday buyers. These efficiency gains flow directly into vehicle pricing. The Model 2 can stay within an affordable price range because Tesla isn't burning cash on wasteful manufacturing processes. This is how you build a mass-market electric vehicle without cutting corners. Middle-class families and retirees who need reliability suddenly have access to EVS that were financially out of reach just years ago. Tesla has positioned multiple Giga Press units across three continents, Texas, Berlin, Shanghai. Each facility is prepared to produce millions of Model 2 units annually. This isn't about conquering one market. It's about flooding all markets simultaneously. Meeting demand in Europe, saturating the Chinese market, and dominating North America becomes mathematically feasible when your production clock runs at seven-second intervals. The Model 2 represents something legacy automakers can't counter. An affordable EV built with premium manufacturing technology. Ford's cheapest EV still costs more to produce than Tesla's most efficient model. GM's electric vehicles require government subsidies to compete on price. Tesla is engineering cost advantages into the production process itself, which means they can undercut competitors while maintaining higher margins. So what happens when Tesla floods the market with $25,000 to $30,000 EVs that cost less to own and maintain than comparable gas vehicles? The used car market shifts first. Why buy a five-year-old Honda Civic when a new Tesla costs roughly the same with better reliability and lower operating costs? Then, the new car market collapses for anyone selling gas vehicles under $40,000. Ford and GM are trapped. Retooling entire production lines to match Tesla's die-casting approach would cost tens of billions and take years to implement. By the time they catch up, Tesla will have moved on to the next manufacturing breakthrough. The competitive gap isn't just wide. It's unbridgeable without complete manufacturing reinvention. Legacy automakers are still stuck with labor-intensive assembly where human workers guide parts into position, operate welding guns, and verify fit and finish. Tesla cut humans out of repetitive execution entirely. The robots don't get tired. They don't make mistakes. This isn't about replacing workers. It's about eliminating variants that kills consistency and drives up costs. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Automotive manufacturing just went through the same transition that photography experienced when digital cameras arrived. Film manufacturers spent decades perfecting chemical processes. 
Then, digital technology made all of that expertise worthless overnight. Kodak declared bankruptcy. Ford and GM are facing their Kodak moment. They can see the future. They know Tesla's manufacturing approach is superior, but they can't pivot without destroying their existing business model. So here's what the 30% cost reduction really means. Tesla isn't just building cars faster. They're making electric vehicles affordable enough to kill the gas car market entirely. Remember that question from the beginning? What happens to the competition when Tesla can slash costs this dramatically while maintaining quality? The answer is already visible. Ford and GM are stuck optimizing a manufacturing system that's now obsolete. They can see the future, but they can't reach it without destroying everything they've built. This is exactly why the Giga Press represents more than just automotive innovation. It's a blueprint for industrial revolution. When one company can produce five vehicles in the time it takes competitors to produce one, we're not watching incremental improvement. We're witnessing the collapse of century-old manufacturing philosophy. The Model 2 pricing that American families are waiting for becomes possible because Tesla engineered cost advantages into the production process itself, not through cheaper materials or reduced quality. And this is just the beginning. Tesla's already scaling this technology across three continents. As production ramps and costs continue falling, we'll see affordable EVs flood the market within the next two years. The real question isn't whether traditional automakers can catch up, it's whether they can survive long enough to try. So what do you think happens when $25,000 EVs with lower operating costs hit dealer lots? Does the used gas car market collapse first, or do legacy manufacturers pivot before it's too late? Drop your prediction in the comments. This is Tech Revolution, and we dig into the breakthroughs that reshape industries. If you want more analysis that cuts through the hype and shows you what's really happening, you know where to find us. The manufacturing revolution is accelerating, and the next wave of cost reductions is already in development. The future of affordable transportation just went into production, and it's moving faster than anyone predicted.